Now, as you know, Parliament sat on Monday night and I've got to share with you something that only came to my attention last night. That parliamentary sitting was, of course, unique and urgent. It was all about passing laws to enable emergency economic responses to keep people going throughout this pandemic crisis. One of the senators who spoke to those bills was New South Wales Green Senator Maureen Faruqi. She said the virus had exposed the failures of capitalism, which was kind of weird and nonsensical. But it wasn't the strangest thing she said. Senator Faruqi also said this virus was all about sex and gender. Yeah, I'm not making this stuff up. Let us not forget that COVID-19 is a gendered crisis. Mm -hmm. Nurses, nurse aides, teachers, child carers and early childhood educators, aged care workers and cleaners are mostly women. They are on the front line of this public health crisis and carry a disproportionate risk of being exposed to the virus. Now, we've all got great admiration and appreciation for the people at the front line in this crisis. This would be the doctors, nurses, paramedics, ambos, police, and all of them, of course, many of whom are men and many who are women. But what about this pitch by Senator Faruqi that somehow it's women who are bearing the brunt of this pandemic? What about her attempt to use this crisis as another weapon in the gender wars? Well, let's get a summary, a good summary of the facts, as reported by CNN. It appears more men may be dying. There's no good data about the share of tests that are given to men and women, respectively. But in Florida, nearly 60% of the confirmed coronavirus cases are male, and 70% of the deaths are male. Researchers have found this emerging pattern of men dying from the virus at higher rates in countries in both Europe and Asia. From Italy, we're seeing a very, another concerning trend that the mortality in males seems to be twice in every age group of females. CNN found that of the six countries providing data split by sex, all showed men dying at higher rates. More than 70% of those who died in Italy are men. In France, more women have tested positive for the virus, but more men have succumbed to it. The same in South Korea. Across the countries for which we have data, spanning nearly a quarter of the world's population, we found that men were 50% more likely than women to die after being diagnosed with COVID-19. Yep, the fact is that there is a gender angle on this pandemic. It's overwhelmingly older men who are most at risk and are suffering most. Older men need the most care and attention. But I guess that doesn't really fit the narrative, does it? How about we all look out for everyone, regardless of their sex or even their age? How about we all do our bit to keep infections to a minimum, especially among the aged? How about we park the gender wars just for a moment?